if you find yourself in the situation where you love going to work, right, and you really enjoy what you do, um, and it is really taking a lot of your attention and intentionality away yeah. from your family, what do you do? What's up, guys? Jeff and Jeremy here. Another episode of Five Minute Fatherhood. Today is talking about a problem, and that is how to combat workism. Now, that's a word that I think was actually coined by Derek Thompson, a writer for the Arti uh, Atlantic, in an article where he talks about that. And we've actually mentioned him here before because he's uh, a brilliant writer. Um, and real uh, kind of quick, succinct version of what that is, is essentially kind of this work idolatry, meaning like your meaning, your purpose, your value, and your identity is mostly taken from what you contribute and what you do at work and in work. And there was another article that uh, me and Jeremy had just recently recently read uh, in Foreign Policy that basically talked about how um, the plummeting uh, fertility rate and the plummeting nature of kids and child rearing and people having kids at later age and what does this mean economically and as a society on the macro level. And this article kind of came to the conclusion and even quoted actually Derek Thompson saying that there's a lot of factors, but one thing that's really, really interesting is kind of this inherent... Um, ideal that like climbing the summit of work is the highest ideal. That is the best good. That is the big, the thing you can do at your work should be what you should sacrifice everything for. And so it's a natural byproduct that families will no longer be that. And I don't think families need to be that for everyone, by the way. So let me be clear on that. But there's clearly like a loss there of that. We see that as a hindrance. That's a better way to put it that one of the biggest hindrances to workism has actually then become the family, the children, the marriage, and things that are actually bedrocks to a foundation of a society. But yeah, Jeremy, what did you think when you read it or, or, or things that you kind of thought stuck out? Yeah, when I think about workism, you guys, which is obviously a huge problem, I wanted to kind of talk through a little bit about like how, if you find yourself in the situation where you love going to work, right, and you really enjoy what you do, um, and it is really taking a lot of your attention and intentionality away yeah. from your family. What do you do? Um, and I will just say to you guys, one thing I don't think you should do, like just maybe one answer isn't that I wish you shouldn't go get a job you're miserable at. <laughs> like, I think yeah. it's amazing if you love your work. I think that's great. God made us to work. In Genesis 1, he created us because he wanted us to work. Now, the disintegration with family, we're going to challenge a lot on this podcast and talk a lot about and write a lot about. But you guys having a job that you really enjoy is an enormous blessing, and I think that you should receive it as such. The way that you deal with being uh, too in love with work or idolizing work or making it too much of the ultimate thing is you need to like lift up other things that should be at the same level or higher, right? There's a there's a sort of a, a, a tradition in the Christian church that the, the way that you, the way that you overcome uh, one sort of overweening affection, T Tim Keller talks a lot about this, is not by diminishing good things that God's made, but it's by making sure that you increase your love for things that ought to be higher order. And family is just a higher order in a lot of ways. In terms of when you think about the, the whole of your life, you're going to really look back and think about your family a lot more than your work. But a lot of times that's confusing in the day-to-day, -day, especially when you're frustrated with your family and you love work. So what do you do to increase your love and family? That's how you overcome workism. And the way, you guys, that I've overcome uh, over-loving work, and I really enjoy the work I do, guys. I get up every day, and I'm looking forward to work every day. The re but I still really have learned to love family more. And the reason is it's captured my heart as I've begun to realize what the family is. And this is one of the reasons why we talk to you guys about a family being a multi-generational team on mission. There's usually inside of that definition of family something that will capture the heart of a man, of a father, beyond what their work can offer. And so mm -hmm. for, for, for me, every one of those three elements, the multi-generational nature of family means it's gonna last longer than anything I do at work. The team element that I get to experience with my children, with my wife, um, as I get better and better at leading that team is begun to overcome any team experience I've ever had at work. And the mission element means that there's more meaning in what I do in and through my family than the meaning that I get in and through work. And so th those that's how I've overcome this. It's not by diminishing work, because I love work, but I really love family more because family, I've begun to realize what family is, and I've experienced so many wonderful things about the family that the, my love for family just has begun to grow and grow and grow. And so I can I can really enjoy work uh, and get, get into work without it necessarily completely destroying my intentionality or my enjoyment when it comes to the family. So I encourage you guys, 
like if you're finding yourself in a miserable job, don't say, well, that's good because, you know, I just <laughs> I, I will just focus on family stuff. No, I, I really want you guys like do work you enjoy and begin to work yeah. your way towards the kinds of vocations that you're built to do. Like that is that is a gift. And, and not everyone has that gift. I get that. Um, but all of us should really try to migrate that direction. Of course, we want to do things that we're built to do and we enjoy. But you guys don't don't become so obsessed with those things mm-hmm. that you miss out on this much bigger uh, and much more valuable thing that God's given you to steward, and that is your family. And so holding both of those high, I, th- I think, is really critical. 